Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tech for All channel, the place where we review cool tech. I haven't been doing any range tests in the recent few weeks. Finally, a good reason to be curious about it's the B5W, one of the new models coming from the Chinese company MJX. And it's interesting because it has an FPV camera, so I would be curious to find out how far can we actually control the drone and how far it would fly with proper FPV transmission. If you want to learn a bit more about this drone, make sure to check out the full review of the B5W. Until now, I have tested almost every brushless motors based drone of MJX, including the Bucks 3 and the Bucks 6, which both scored around 500 meters, and the absolute champion, the B2W, which was flying more than a kilometer away from me. And the FPV transmission there was also brilliant, uh, about 600 meters. Today we will perform two different tests for the range of the Bucks 5W. On one side we're going to check about the control range, and secondly we're going to measure the distance of FPV transmission from the camera. Because this drone comes equipped with an embedded full HD FPV camera, which can be tilted by 90 degrees, and it can stream at 720p to your smartphone, and it can record on an SD card with full HD resolution. According to the manufacturer MJX, we should expect detailed control distance of up to 2 or 300 meters, and this is what I want to verify whether it's right or wrong. During the range test, I discovered that the recording on the micro SD card may get corrupted should you lose range. And although I have enabled the recording from the transmitter, there was nothing on the SD card after the flight, but we've got enough footage to confirm it all. Firstly, we're going to examine the FPV range, meaning the Wi-Fi video transmission that the onboard camera provides. And my setup is pretty basic. The drone and my smartphone. The B5W's camera creates a Wi-Fi hotspot to which your phone can connect and you can watch the video in real time via the Bucks Go app. This is very convenient and furthermore, it utilizes 5 GHz frequency for the Wi-Fi. A disadvantage is that some of the older smartphones simply don't support 5 GB Wi-Fi. On the other side, however, uh, having the FPV on 5 GHz frequency means that there's going to be absolutely no interference with the control, there's going to be no impact on the control distance. The top results may vary depending on the smartphone that you have. The OnePlus 6 that I use here has quite good reception of the Wi-Fi and you will notice the first signal drops after 400 meters and the connection to the Wi-Fi hotspot was entirely lost after around 500 meters. It's almost twice more than what MJX has actually predicted. The second test, control range. We don't need the camera and I'm going to be flying this drone as further as possible. To run the test, we're going to use the telemetry of two devices. First, the telemetry embedded in the transmitter of the Bucks 5W itself. And secondly, I'm going to follow it with the DJI Mavic Air. The person who helped me was my wife, and that was perhaps the third time she was actually controlling a drone, which confirms that the B5W is quite easy to fly with and very safe too. I flew a bit further than initially expected. The signal started to drop at around 600 meters. This is when the first beeps started to sound. And at slightly more than 750 meters, the drone entered into failsafe return to home, which triggers as soon as you lose range. As a conclusion, you can comfortably count on up to 450 meters of FPV range and up to more than 700 for detailed control distance. Uh, should you fly the drone inside a big city with a lot of <laughs> Wi-Fi hotspots, certainly the control range can drastically drop. Overall, the achievements are very good and uh, they're better than what we have on the Bucks 3, the Bucks 3 Mini and the Bucks 6. Um, unfortunately, not better than the B2W, which still remains uh, the reign champion among the <laughs> Bucks series. But still, it's really great to see a product exceeding the expectations 
and exceeding the predicted from the manufacturer values. And here, yes, I'm probably referring to DJI Spark and DJI Mavic Air, where at least in CE mode we have severe issues to make it up to the predicted 500 meters, but luckily there is a fix that you can easily follow and run them into FCC mode. Thanks a lot for watching these two range tests and I sincerely hope you liked them. Any kind of comments and feedback and questions are more than welcome in the section below the video. Uh, a big thanks to MJX for giving me the chance to thoroughly test the B5W. Um, like I said, in case of questions, check out the things below the video. Make sure to check some of the other content on the channel. I'll be back soon with another range test. Uh, it's been a great pleasure to have you here in the past few minutes. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, share this video with your friends. I'll be back soon with more content. You have a great day and fly responsibly. Bye!